hate you worse. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Unfathomable. I hate you that much. Everything about you is manipulative and controlling, Firecracker. Well, I'm sorry that you're the most boring thing on the planet. Actually, make that any planet. All you guys do is get us in trouble. I'm never going to share any of my ideas again. I wish when the portal closed to cut off your entire body and not just your hand. Where did that sunglasses suck? I realized how powerful my plans can be. Imagine how much stronger I'd be if I executed them myself. I wish you were executed. Nebula doesn't talk a lot because she's trying to hide how dumb she is. She wishes she can be as smart as me. Hey, everyone. Axe was scared of Dora. How weak and stupid can someone be? Do you really want me to mention your extremely loud snoring in the floating rocks? I thought we all agreed not to mention that. Because everyone can hear it already. Oh, don't get me started on your hypocrisy, wizard hat. You're literally the same as Fancy. What? No, not at all. Yeah, you're literally a hat also. That's not what I mean, Kevin. Ah, oh, what a great way to spend a night. You really are amazing, sir. Don't have to tell me stuff I already know, Fallen Tree Branch. Hmm, so this is where they all went. <laughs> Better report back to the Dream Bender as soon as possible. Hey, Fallen Tree Branch, can you give me a quick rundown where one is? Who's one? Ah, uh, where half is, idiot. Oh, half. I literally have no idea. He wasn't traveling with you guys? Honestly, he wasn't. I don't know why, though. Whatever, he'll make his way here eventually. Why would you ever want to see half? He's like the dumbest creature I've ever seen. <laughs> you have no idea. I don't know why I keep dragging you along, Boots. All you do is get in the way, causing us to make an escape. I'm sincerely sorry, Master Dora, but your directions aren't the best sometimes. Are you trying to pin the blame onto me? Of course not. I just, uh... Stop. Actually, what even happened to your actual boots? I can tell you the story if you want. Actually, forget that. Why don't we... So basically, my old leader with the cowboy hat... Boots, hand me the Apple Watch. <gasps> We're gonna be late for the breaking news. Come on. Lunchtime, enemies! Why would I ever eat this disgusting slop when I could just throw it at people? Lawkeeper, why is my assigned seat next to traffic cone? Why don't you just be quiet and eat your- Ow! Dynamite, what was that for? I don't know, I thought you were hungry. That's it! Food fight! I love french fries! Guys, can you please grow up? Why use food when you have a knife? Guys, don't make me fight back. Do it, you won't. Challenge accepted. Whoa! Hey, Rose. Don't think I forgot about you, Nebula. Nothing you do scares me. Hey, guys. How's lunch go? Oh, my God. Do you want to be next, Fallen Tree Branch? Nah, I'm perfectly fine. This is a waste of time. I'm sneaking back into the vents. I declare a thumb war. Kevin, stop. Ah, that was a nice session of playing Just Dance. I was literally gone for 20 minutes. How does this place already look like Wizard Hat? Okay, that was unnecessary. Sir, have you seen everything that's happening outside? What do you think, I'm stupid? I have ears! Okay, now that's just a lie. Go clean everything up! <sighs> okay. Welcome back to Breaking News. Today... Hola, soy Dora. Alright, I'll cut to it. Me and Boots are kidnapping this fool. Boots, tell them how there's nothing they can do to stop us. I'm pretty sure this wasn't in the script. Of course, Master Dora. I would like to inform you guys out there that Dora is, by definition, the most powerful person ever known. Well, actually, I don't think anyone newly discovered can be more powerful than her. You see, it all started back when... Boots, you can stop now. You sure? Boots, come on. All right, everyone, make sure you to like and subscribe to my... Boots, come on! Bye, everyone. Why did you use a green screen to make the background solid blue? Why am I being kidnapped? I can give you the rundown if you want, Master Dora. No, I think I'm good, Boots. Wait, are you THE Dora? Yep. You're my favorite actor! Actor? I'm literally the most powerful leader you'll ever know. You're like seven years old. No, I'm not. Dora, do you want me to ask the questions? I'll do it. Where are Half's contestants? Oh, wow, how funny. I was literally just going to do a news broadcast about that. You were going to give that precious information to everyone? <laughs> yeah, that would have been one banger of a news title. Actually, wait. How do you know this information? A news reporter never tells her secrets. Okay, whatever. Just bring us to them. Are you sure? It's really dangerous what the lawkeeper can do. The lawkeeper has them? Like, under his control? Yeah, I got some footage if you want to see. I'm 
mean, the quality looks like it's from an iPhone 4, but if you squint and imagine enough, it's, it's fine. Show me this footage. I hate, I hate you so much. You My hate for you is unfathomable. Before we go to our separate cells, I wanted to eat one last waffle. <laughs> Down the hatch it goes. I, uh... Hate waffles. What? Why? I, uh, I don't know. I don't understand what happened to our friends. I thought we all wanted to work together and defeat the Dreambender. Hey, Cactus, did you hear an uncomfortably loud noise? It's probably just the others in another food fight. Ow, or my skull being cracked open, jeez. Jack! Jack! Uh, Jake, but close enough, I guess. Like, the real Jake? No way this is happening. I mean, this is probably all a fat, chunky dream, but yeah, it is me. How did you get here, bro? So, basically, I was chilling at original McDonald's from 1955. You know, just, just munching on a good old Happy Meal and all that. When out of nowhere, I got punted into outer space, flown by literal planets, and went through about a baker's dozen solar portals and rifts, and slammed through this building head first. Yo! That sounds sick! An original McDonald's from 1955? Were you eating a burger or chicken nuggets? Whoa, whoa, slow down. You know I also got punted into space. You can be our new friend and help us escape prison. Whoa, one sec. We should probably introduce ourselves first. We're Carbon. And Cactus. We're, We're Cactus, Cactus and, Carbon. and Carbon. I mean, I probably could have guessed that, but why are you gray? What do you mean, bro? I'm the most handsome shade of green you'll ever see. Oh, I am colorblind. I knew I should have listened to my mom. What is a 10-year-old doing in my prison? Oh, I don't know. I probably committed a few crimes here or there. Wait, you're Jake? Jeez, I should start selling my own autograph books. Follow me right now, Jake. No, stranger danger. You literally started talking to those two. Wait, speaking of those two, why are you guys talking to each other again? Well, they seemed kind of gray and sad and weird. They were kind of just sitting there together and not talking. I wanted to do something about that. That's enough, Jake. You're coming with me. I guess if you're going to tell me what's going on. Move out of the way, Rose. I want to see what's around the corner. Imagine not being able to fly, losers. <sighs> you guys are being so incredibly annoying. What? what? Well, there goes another friend. Guess it's time for us to get back to our cells alone. All right. See ya, Cactus. Wait! Cactus, what are we doing? What do you mean? Walking back alone? Do you not remember what just happened? When we were talking to Jake, we were completely fine. Nothing is actually stopping us from being friends still. Even if the others do hate us, it still doesn't mean we have to hate each other. You're right, bro. I don't know why I was letting that crazy cowboy get to me. Even if the others don't want to break out of here, we still can. So, uh, where should we start? I think I've got an idea. I can't wait until we're let outside so I can destroy you guys in basketball. Alright, Cactus, just go with what I'm saying. Huh? Come on, Cactus, you know this one. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, I got you. We've traveled the road of competition Joined by double bonds we win these comps cause you're a magician Then we purchase some Papa John's We're Carbon and Cactus, Cactus and Carbon We're allies but so much more No matter how spoiled we will chug the carton We're allies to the core There's no place that I'd rather be Than stuck with you in Solitary. I dig all around with my trusty shovel as we travel to Tennessee. We're carbon and cactus, cactus and carbon. We're allies, but so much more. No matter how spoiled, we will chug the carton. We're allies to the core. Play go fish, we slide out slides Even when I'm evil, we're still a vibe We sit with each other in the bus's rear Every Saturday, we down some beer uh, what? You're more dumb than Kevin Frank Or Wizard Head, trying to pull off the shades The cells I lose while I'm hearing you it's making me go insane. We're carbon and cactus, cactus and carbon. We're allies, but so much more. No matter how 
how spoiled we will chug the carton. We're allies to the core. What on earth was that? Well, we're not on earth now, are we? I mean, I thought it was kind of cool. Thanks, bro. Get back here. Yeah, yeah, hold up, bro. No one goes against what I say. <laughs> well, you're not my mom. Well, your mom isn't here now, is she? Yo. Well, that's a lot quieter of an entrance than you take. Mom, what are you doing here? Well, I heard a loud crash and I thought someone needed some saving. Well, hasn't this been a fun couple of days? Well, Anna, you're coming to dog with me. Carbon, what are you doing? Just predicting his next line. That's it. Off to solitary confinement. Oh, sweet! Not with you! <laughs> Fallen Tree Branch, hand me my telephone! Of course, sir. I think it's time we give him a call. Master Dora, I think we got scammed. Nonsense, the prison's gotta be around here somewhere. Don't go to the prison! <laughs> Quiet, you. I'm being serious, the lawkeeper's too powerful. He took our leader. I don't know how powerful this leader of yours is, but once I appear, I'm gonna take control. Very well then, proceed with caution. Well, that was weird. He's just dumb, let's go. Now I just gotta make my way to that sweet, sweet exit portal. Dynamite, what are you doing here? What are you talking about? I'm the one who found the portal, meaning I'm the one going through it. I'd just like to personally applaud you two on discovering my fake exit portal. Really? However, I'd like to mention that a big opportunity to show off your power and strength to everyone is just around the corner. So, are you gonna tell us it or what? Right as you head back to the cafeteria. You guys are the ones who agreed to play basketball with me. We literally didn't. Ow! Rose, stop! I think you guys should stand right underneath that basketball hoop. What? No! Nebula, I'm not stupid. Well, Wizard Hat is. Huh? What's going on? Nebula, what are you doing? <laughs> Nebula! No, that's it. I'm going back inside. Alright, enemies, listen up. It's quite amazing to see just how much you guys improved while being in my prison. So I'd like to propose a challenge to show off your strength and abilities. Jake, let's get out of here. Uh, let's just stay a little longer. Somewhere in the prison, I've hidden the real exit portal. All you gotta do is find it and be on your way. Yo, Carmen, this is perfect. We could just team up with Jake and Hannah and find that swirly oval in no time. Now that's a good- In one tiny detail I'd like to mention, the portal is a one-time use only meeting. This is all a solo mission, which shouldn't be a problem for you guys in the slightest. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's way too easy. What are you slowpokes waiting for? Go! So, uh, what are we gonna do? Doesn't matter. We're still finding a way to all get through that portal. I mean, that seems impossible, but I'm willing to help you guys. Yo, sick. Maybe because floating in space is boring, but let's go. Hey, so funny story. My jetpack is kind of out of fuel, so I'm gonna have to stay with you guys. That's fine by me. Oh, my gosh. So, anyone got a plan? Yep. Why did that take so incredibly long to say? Oh, my bad, bros. I was dazing out. We need to find a way to wipe that gray off all our friends, and I think I know how to do that. So, how long is this guy you called going to take to show up? Have some patience, Fallen Tree Branch. He'll be here any second. Patience? That's coming from you? Be careful what you say, Fallen. Sup? Uh... Hi? What do you want? Uh, you kind of called me on the phone. What? No! How did you- uh, what? So, can you tell me what I'm supposed to do? Uh, fine. Alright, I'd go off and try to distract everyone from finding that exit portal, I guess. Done. Sir, why did you tell him to do that? Don't question me, Fallen Tree Branch. I swear I've been down this hallway before. Sub, traffic cone. What do you want? What if I told you I'm a traffic cone and that you're not allowed to continue forward? Stop wasting my time. That was kind of stupid. All right, Boots, it's time to make our grand entrance. From the roof? You know it. I'm a banana. Ow! Ugh. Everything all right, Master Dora? Ow! What does it look like, Boots? From the roof? Boots, you want me to tell you something? I literally hate you. Sup, Dora? <laughs> Uh, guys? Yeah, what's up? I, uh, I went to kindergarten with that girl. And you didn't tell me about her? Well, she didn't split people in half. I mean, she did throw a fit and rip every coloring page she was given, but- I got it! Ow, cactus! Did you think of a plan? I sure did, bro. Well, can you get explaining? Dora's probably about to blow up this place. So, does anyone have a coloring page?
No, why would we need that? Well, you just mentioned that whenever Dora saw a coloring page, she got mad and ripped it up. If we get a coloring page, we can use it to scare her away because of her fear of coloring pages. Cactus, I don't think she ripped up the coloring page because she had a fear of them. I mean, I think this is a pretty good plan, to be honest. Jake, you picked your dream house as a few letters. You shouldn't be talking. So, where are we going to find a coloring page? It's been a long time since I saw you, Lawkeeper. Yeah, good. Why are you here now? You know how on my last visit I took boots from you. You're missing the part about me absolutely destroying you and making you run away. Shh, stop! Well, this seems like the perfect time to get my revenge on Dora. Man, this is gonna be great! What, the news reporter guy? What, what are you doing here? Oh, just pretend I'm not here. I can't wait to broadcast this. Broadcast? Seems like you're about to attack a ten-year-old. This does not look good for you. Have you met Dora before? Yeah, she took over my show like an hour ago. Then what? What's your point? You know, I had to go along with it for the content. You know, last time I visited was only my warm-up. What's your next statement gonna be that you're not inviting me to your birthday party? Uh, that's it. I challenge you to a power duel. A power duel? You only think I'll be a little unfair? That seesaw is definitely tilted way on my side. That wasn't really the best analogy, I'll probably cut that out. Winners deem the most powerful. Ooh, can I join you, Master Dora? Sure. No, Boots, this is my work only. Now this is gonna be a piece of cake. But that won't stop me from being the referee. Alright, back to back, ten steps forward, then let the battle commence. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Boots, start the countdown. Yo, guys! We should join them! No, bro, stop. I'm gonna back up. You guys can be my guests and stay here if you desire. Bro, I'm fine. My shovel can deflect anything. Three. Ah, uh, let me just straighten my infinity gauntlet. Two. Yeah, this will definitely be a snooze fest. One. So, Cactus, are you sure that shovel can protect us? Jack, Cactus's shovel has never let us down. It's Jake. Let the power duel commence. All right, Cactus, I'm trusting the shovel of your- Guys, watch out! What do we do? Hmm, I don't know. Let me grab my magic eight ball. Dude, run! All right, Traffic Calm, let's see your fighting skills. Bro, stop! Are you trying to get us all killed? Well, you know, I was just getting a little bored. Ugh, why am I still hanging out with you? Finally, you'll leave! Why don't you go find that ten-year-old? You two probably have the same IQ! Well, can you put me down first? Only if you promise never to bother me again! Was already planning on that. A hundred different camera angles seems pretty reasonable to broadcast this battle. Not gonna happen once I destroy them all! Have fun trying to find them all, bro, I know you're great! And all, but I'm so excited for the amount of views this is gonna get. You know what? I don't have time for this anymore. Have fun getting blasted by a giant laser. You ready to face my patented special attack law keeper? Dora, you can try anything. I don't care. Boots, hand me the projector and flint and steel. Hate to break it to you, Dora, but I'm in fact the referee now. Boots, hand me the stuff. Okay, okay. What is this, another one of your dumb kindergarten craft projects? Oh, this isn't any ordinary projector. All I gotta do is put the flint and steel in front of- <laughs> Dora, what are you doing? Uh, winning, idiot. Man, that was a really weak explosion. I appreciate your work, Shovel. Okay, I take back everything I said about that shovel. Guys, the prison just blew up. Stop talking about the dumb shovel. Mom, it literally just saved our lives. Uh, Jake, go to your room. I would love to find my room in this deserted wasteland. <gasps> I can't believe I found you guys. Yo! I forgot what ours looked like. I don't know what came over me. This lawkeeper guy is so strange. Yeah, I agree. He definitely looks weird. Well, I'm glad to hear that our friends are back to normal. Well, that's the thing. I think I'm the only one back to normal. Well, I think that seeing that building blow up just really snapped me back to reality. Wait! Let me guess. Uh, wizard hat. Yeah, that's, that's exactly correct. How did you know? Wait. Jake? Oh, don't worry, I already got a pen and paper out. Does this mean that half is with you by any chance? Oh no, I haven't seen that guy in a while, and you know, I feel like that's a pretty good thing. Yeah, I mean, judging by the few stories that I've been told, it seems like he definitely did not treat you the best. Bro, I was a little prize of a game show. Well, it's good to know he's probably not hosting one of those again. Oh, yeah, I, I, I have a lot of explaining to do. I'm definitely willing to try my best to explain half strange behaviors. Nebula, I'm so glad you're here and back to normal. Yeah, I just figured hiding all the time and waiting 
waiting for someone to help wouldn't get me anywhere. So I'll try my best to help. Oh, great. Nebula, since you can fly, I want you to take this GoPro and fly right over the battle and record it. Are you broadcasting this? Yo, I want to be seen on national television. One step ahead of you, Cactus. I'm already standing in front of a camera. Coven, I just don't know if that's a good idea. People might think that you were responsible for the exploded prison behind us. Bro, Carbon's on national television. Let me get in on that. You ready to give up yet? Stop being stupid, Dora. Hate to interrupt this epic battle, but does anyone else hear a lot of footsteps getting closer? Quiet, Boots. Do you guys think that they're still fighting? Obviously, we shouldn't interfere, but what if something really bad has happened again? All right, Chief. Me and Fallen Tree Branch have found the others, and I'm glad to inform you that they are just over that mountain. Perfect. Your promotion awaits you, Rose. Thanks, sir. Anything you want me to do, Chief? Definitely. I want you to signal the private jet to land here. On it. Sup, Chief? Kevin. You get everyone that we could round up. Yep, I also found a Happy Meal in the sand. That's amazing, Kevin. I could probably stop being the ref for a second to see what's going on. Put your hands up. I can turn upside down if you want. Oh, wait, you're just Dora's stupid assistant. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Yo, how's it going, FBI agent? Well, it looks like I didn't have to do any work. So, can I ask, what exactly are you doing here? Well, I was informed that someone was live-streaming a very destructive and dangerous battle, and I wanted to save as many people around the place as I could. Oh, that's amazing! Let's get going! Whoa, whoa. Hold your horses, everyone. I got something I gotta mention first. All right, got it. I'll cut you guys a little deal. I'll let everyone ride in my $100 million private jet. Deal. If, and only if, you guys just tell me every last detail you know about half. Deal! All right, I guess the 10-year-old speaks for everyone. Let's go. Wait a second. Are there water slides in the jet? Of course. Anything you could dream of is in the private jet. Well, that's all I needed to hear. Let's go, Cactus. Was already planning on it, bro. This seems way too good to be true. Yeah, not to mention the fact that our friends are still gray. Hey, uh, FBI dude, I really appreciate your offer, but I think me and Traffic Cone are gonna stay here. Whoa, whoa, everyone, hold up. Oh, you can delay the order of that most expensive steak. What's up, Chief? There's something I want to make clear that I didn't mention before. It's been brought to my attention that some of your friends... Well, don't really want to travel with us, to put it lightly. I want to make sure it's very clear that we're either all in or all out. You guys have exactly one minute to make your decision. Guys, I bet that exit portal wasn't destroyed by the explosion. We can probably all find it and get back home. I mean, you know, we can also fly in a private jet. Quickly now. I can see that Boots is making his way back here. Okay, I think I've made my decision. I think it would be best if we- Cactus, I found the room with the water slides! 